here's another experiment I'm trying with the Bashar um, STA antenna. Um, what I have is a, um, a, a pulse generator that uh, uses a 555 timer to drive a ignition coil, a uh, 12 volt battery. Um, the hot lead is a, a pulse that's around 400 volts. I bring that to a plate uh, that's sitting near the um, Bashar STA and the uh, this is a tank circuit and the scope is sitting across the tank circuits the the equivalent circuit is basically a coil capacitor the, the capacitor being the tetrahedron and then an oscilloscope um, so uh, the antenna here is the receiver and this pulse generator is putting out a pulse near it and we can look at the waveforms. The, the pulse is a square wave. The pulse width is um, fixed, but but I, with a potentiometer I can adjust the frequency from 168 hertz all the way up to uh, 6.7 kHz. Um, so here's the frequency generator at the bottom of its range. I'll dial it up and you'll see it uh, goes up to around um, 67-ish okay well 6500 okay so that was with the uh, connection to the ignition coil disconnected now I'm gonna switch this on and here's the plate, here's the Bashar STA, and here's the waveform on the scope. Now um, let me dial this down um, to 233 hertz. So you can see um, um, as I slowly increase the frequency. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> So we're we're looking at the leading edge and then the ringing. So it's triggering on the on the pulse. Now these these bumps, I'm not sure what they are. I think it might be the bucking phenomenon, but it only seems to occur at certain frequencies. It's like an echo from the original pulse. Now, right around here you'll notice that the the second, so this is the first pulse, this is the second pulse, this is the weird echo thing. Um, right around uh, slightly above um, three, 3 kilohertz, uh, this pulse can start to overlap the echo, and if I exactly overlap it, something odd happens. So let me do that. So now, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but basically um, things are going back and forth, which is to me tells me that there's sort of a beat beat frequency thing happening here. And this having these exactly overlap is sort of an, a regenerative, positive feedbackish kind of thing happening. Let's look at this. Uh, a slightly different voltage scale. What and what's interesting is this is sort of the zero point background radiation noise that's coming in to the antenna. And this is the ring down from the pulse. And the second pulse is overlapping the echo. Now as I go slightly higher in frequency, let me adjust the scale again, slightly higher in frequency, it's no longer uh, overlapping. This echo thing is beyond the second pulse. And then the echo thing sort of lands in a different place.
and there are certain frequencies where it all kind of goes chaotic. Um, my design is kind of a kludge here, so there's it probably can't handle resonant frequencies very good. And plus the scope may not be triggering right. This one's this echo is just a triggering issue. See that look where right around uh, this point the bump the bump that represents the echo is coming back. And it and it has a different amplitude, so that's uh, kind of a clue that it is an echo, not not a triggering problem. If it was a triggering problem, um, all the amplitudes would be the same. So this is kind of interesting stuff. I haven't really fully wrapped my head around what's going on here. <laughs> 